Hello, welcome to uh, another session on trigonometric problem solving. So we are going to take up one trigonometric identity and we are going to prove that identity. So the question says, uh, prove that sine theta upon cot theta plus cosec theta is equal to 2 plus sine theta cot sine theta upon cot theta minus cosec theta. Now uh, we are going to discuss two approaches here. One approach is where we take the LHS and do man manipulations and finally get the RHS. Another one is we adjust the identity itself so that we uh, reduce it to a more comfortable form. So we'll see both the approaches. So let us see the first approach where we take the LHS and go to the RHS. So in the LHS it is given sine theta upon cot theta plus cosec theta and if you notice on the RHS you have the same uh, trigonometric ratios but then instead of a plus in the denominator there is a minus sign so why not we just introduce this particular term in the LHS and then try to reduce the identity now so what what am I going to do is I'm going to multiply sine theta upon cot theta plus cosec theta given in the LHS by cot theta minus cosec and theta and we'll multiply and divide both the numerator and denominator by this so it's it's mentioned over here now why am I doing this? I am doing this because I will get this sine theta and this cot theta minus cosec theta term right which is required here in the RHS so I will segregate that so that's what I have done so I have segregated that what was required and then now, now whatever was whatever is residue I will try to reduce it to the desired result. So this term is sine theta divided by cot theta minus cosec theta and now I am again multiplying and dividing by cot theta minus cosec theta again why because if because if you see we know this trick that if cot theta plus cosec theta is multiplied by cot theta minus cosec theta we will end up getting this identity so we will be using which identity cosecant cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1 right so in this case it is cot, cot, cot square theta minus cosec square theta which will be minus 1 but then eventually we will get a simplified form so hence sine theta and this term was desired anyway so i'm not going to touch it on um, the rhs the denominator will be reduced uh, sorry and the same thing in the right hand term the denominator is going to be reduced to minus one why because in this case cot square is ahead of cos square that is cosec square theta is being subtracted from cot square but the identity is this where you are subtracting cot square from cosec square so hence it is minus 1 and in the numerator I have just used another algebraic identity which is a plus b sorry a minus b it is so it is a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus twice a b so this is what I have used here and I have expanded uh, expanded the identity now I exp expanded this term so hence you will get cot square theta plus cosec square theta minus 2 cot theta cosec theta and divide by minus 1 which we just saw now so I am not going to touch this part anyways because this is desired so what is left over on in, on the right term if you see cosec cot square theta I have just uh, you know taken away this negative sign from the denominator and then hence reverse the signs of whatever was there in the numerator so minus minus 2 cot theta cosec theta has now become 2 cot theta cosec theta and cot square theta plus cosec square theta which was here they are all now negative why because I have taken away the negative sign from the denominator now so again this term I am not going to touch why because it is going to be there in the RHS so what is left now so 2 cot theta into cosec and theta minus cot square theta and now I have reduced cosecant square as cot square plus 1 why because we know that cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta same identity which one this one if you rearrange it you will get the same thing so I have now reduced it to that that and then after simplification it is 2 why am I doing this because I am interested in this factor 2 which is there in the RHS so hence I reduce it like that and so after simplification this is what is left in this term again note I am not touching this so hence now I am I'm writing cos cot into cos by sign cos cot as cos by sign here and cosecant as 1 upon sine here and minus 2 cot square will be 2 cos square sine square theta and minus 1. Now hope you understood till 
this step. Now again this term I'm not going to touch. Now I take LCM in the right term, sine square theta is the LCM, so it becomes 2 cos theta minus 2 cos square theta here and then since it was minus 1, so it will be minus sine square theta. Now, again, I have to get 2 somehow. So, but there are two 2's and 1, one sine square and I have to also get 2 plus 1, something like that. Why? Because, you know, um, uh, I have to get 2 into some factor here and then I have to also get 1 because here if you see there is, so uh, the, whatever is the multiplicand here. So, if you see this will be there so hence in this term there has to be 1 so that this term is left over and since 2 is also there on the RHS so 2 multiply by this reciprocal reciprocal of this term must appear that's what the thought process is let us proceed so hence now sine square theta can be written as minus 2 sine square theta plus sine square theta isn't it minus sine square theta can be written as minus 2 sine square theta plus sine square again there is a purpose why because it can, I can extract 2 from here. So if you see, 2 cos theta is there and then minus 2 common from cos square theta plus sine square theta will reduce it to 1. And then this sine square theta when divided by this sine square theta here is this term. So I have separated the terms now. So sine theta by this term again is not touched. Now 2 cos theta minus cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. That reduces to minus 2 because there was a minus 2 here also. So 2 cos theta minus 2 plus 1 by sine square theta. Now I got this one because this one when multiplied by this will give you the one term of the RHS. What was that? Here this term is now in foresight. Now if you see, um, yes, so what is what is left now? So hence now I am again reducing 2 cos theta I am taking 2 as common. So cos theta minus 1 divided by sin theta right into 1 upon so sin square theta can be written as sin theta into sin theta this is all by purpose I'll show you how now cos theta 2 cos 2 times cos theta by sin theta minus 1 I broke this uh, fraction into two fractions so cos theta by sin theta minus 1 by sin theta here and then in the whole is divided into multiplied by 1 by sin theta and then plus 1 now this term again let it be like that now this term is reduced to cos pi sin is cot so here is the cot and 1 by sin is cosec theta and 1 by sin is as it is and plus 1 is as it is okay now this again is as it is and then what will happen uh, this 2 into cot theta minus cosec theta divided by sin theta this term right and then we have multiplied this whole term by the first term here and this whole term by this one okay so you'll get two terms this one and this one this one was desired on the RHS and if you see these this first term here when multiplied together you'll get two why because this sine theta will go by this sine theta and this cot theta minus cosec theta will go by this cot theta minus cosec and theta so you get the desired result 2 plus sine theta cosec theta. sine theta divided by cot theta minus cosec theta correct now what was the learning learning is you can you can uh, you know have a you know a track of RHS what exactly is needed in RHS you try to get that in LHS itself and then reduce whatever is the remaining term and simplify it so that it gives you the desired result so that's what we did we purposefully inserted cot theta minus cosec theta here under sin theta so that we get one of the terms and then kept on simplifying the other half of the expression so that it re reduces to the desired result. Alternatively, you could have done this and this is a much simpler method. What you could have done is the same identity can be rewritten as like this, right? So I have just um, taken sin theta upon cot theta minus cosecant theta, which was on the right hand side. I have taken it to, a, to the left hand side. Now simplify LHS. So you take LCM you'll get cot square theta minus cosecant square theta and then the remaining in the denominator will become sine theta times cot theta minus cosecant theta and minus sine theta times this cot theta plus cosec theta that's what I have written now simplify you will get sine theta cot theta minus sine theta cosecant theta minus sine theta cot theta minus sine theta cosecant theta and if you simplify again 
you will get minus 2 times sin theta cosecant theta divided by minus 1. Why? Because this is again an identity. Which identity it is? We have learned this that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is always 1. So hence it will be minus 1 because the signs are opposite. So minus 1. So if you see it will be reduced to minus 2. So this thing goes um, sin theta into cot theta gets cancelled because of the sign. So hence minus 2 times sin theta cosecant theta divided by minus 1 and we know that sin into sin theta into cosecant theta is 1. Why? Because sin theta is 1 upon cosecant theta. So hence you get 2 as RHS. So it is a much simpler method than the previous one. So this can also be adopted. Thank you.